What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the side, well, you've come to the right place. Needless to say, Squid Game is the show to be watching right now. I'm seeing it all around the internet, hearing people talk about it, all my friends keep telling me about it, right? Oh, did you see it? Did you watch it yet? Honestly, I think it's an alright show. Interesting concept, if nothing else. I'll be honest, I think the show's a fad. Give it a few months, people are gonna forget all about it. And that's nothing against the show, that's just kind of how the cycle is. Show gets popular, hype dies down, and people go looking for the next big thing. We have an article from the New York Post, not the New York Times, the New York Post. Uh, the New York Post is a tabloid site. If you know anything about tabloids, you know that they aren't exactly the place to be for groundbreaking news. Whatever, let's get into it. Parents who allow their children to watch Squid game may be fostering bullies as they get older, according to a UK parenting expert. Now, I just want to know why parents are letting their kids watch a show where people literally die playing kids games for money? Seriously, like you'd think most parents would have done the slightest bit of research and thought, hmm, maybe my child shouldn't watch this show. I mean, come on, Squid Games? Squid Games is like murder porn. You know, like, what do you really expect? Our youngest generation may not understand the show's context, according to Wheatley. Oh, really? You don't think kids would understand that the characters in the show are in life-crushing debt? That desperation would cause them to do whatever it takes to pay it off? Man, ain't that a revelation. It may make them question, why is nobody helping them? Clearly there are messages there that we really don't want our kids to take on board, she explained. To an extent, I mostly agree with this article, but like, is that seriously the argument being made here? Like, this is the focal point, that they'll see people getting hurt and no one helping them, and think that it's okay? Like, don't you think that's kind of a broad line of reasoning? Can't that be applied to literally any form of media? Surely there's more than one movie or TV show where people get hurt and no one assists them. Oh, but since some random hit TV show does it, now we gotta go up in arms about it. Like, this line of reasoning, uh, can we get a source for this? An accredited claim from some university or something? I don't know, let's keep going on. Her statement comes after a primary school in Belgium earlier this month warned parents about Squid Game after finding students reenact dangerous games on the playground has depicted in the show. We must remain vigilant so that this unhealthy and dangerous game is stopped, read an announcement from the school on Facebook after students were seen punching each other as penance for losing in the red light green light game. In the series, those disqualified are shot dead point blank. I mean, point blank, I don't know about that one. I mean, from what I've seen, the doll was a good distance away, but I don't know, whatever. But yeah, them's kind of kids for you. They love recreating stuff they see on the old TV, but holy crap, they were straight up punching each other? Like, in the shoulder or the face? Like, were they punching each other in the face? Man, I thought this generation was soft, but never in all the dumb old games I ever played as a kid did we ever straight up punch each other in the face. I remember, my friends and I, we had this version of rock, paper, scissors. The rules were the same, but the winner got to slap the loser's back hand. No, and sometimes we'd like spit in our fingers before we slapped, cause that made it hurt more. And yeah, it was dumb, but it passed time, you know what I'm saying? But damn, straight up punching. I gotta give it to this generation of kids, man. That's a hell lot more than what I ever did. Honestly, this is, that's baller, man. Where were the adults at the time all this was going down? Like, there wasn't anyone watching the kids out on the playground, making sure everything's going alright, everyone's safe, no one's beating each other up, like, huh? Wheatley said that Squid Game is sending kids the wrong message about how to handle bullying in public. We don't stand by if we witness an injustice. If we see somebody else being bullied or hurt, we tell a teacher. And we don't just join in or walk away. Alright, I don't know what school Wheatley here went to, but the way it went in my school is, if you see something happening, you keep your mouth shut because no one likes a snitch. And like, tell a teacher? Like, if you get your ass kicked at school, telling a teacher ain't gonna do a goddamn thing. I mean, chances are, even if you just take a beating and walk away, didn't even throw a single punch in the fight, nine times out of ten, you're still gonna get a suspension or something for one reason or another. Because, in case you haven't been paying attention, teachers don't actually give a damn. Take it from a guy who's had friends that's gotten themselves into more than one tussle. If you get in a fight, 
you don't want to tell a teacher, man. Some parents on the UK-based mums <laughs> Mumsnet community admitted to letting their kids watch Squid Game, according to the Daily Mail, wrote one mom of an eight-year-old. Oh, I got a fake a British accent now. Uh, watch it with her in the room. I fast forward six scenes or really brutal violence, but she knows it's not real. Oh, good God, the absolute state of parents. You know, I always flip between we don't give kids enough credit and we give kids way too much credit. And this is the time where I think you're giving the kid too much credit. Don't let your kids watch this junk hill. Honestly, I'm not even sure if you should even let kids watch TV. I mean, you ask me, TV is straight up poison for the mind. You see what they're putting on PBS Kids and stuff? Like, ugh. Others on the site condemn the show and the parents who allow its viewing under their roof. Scummy parents let their kids watch violent shows, said one, while another added, it's child neglect. So sad. You know, I want to say this is some sort of overreaction, but I mean, it's honestly right on the money. Let's face it, the same people who let their kids watch, uh, you know, squid games are probably the same people too lazy to actually spend time with them. They just give their kid a tablet to keep them entertained while they go out to a bar or something. No, I'm not projecting. I love my mom and pops, but like, you just know. You just know. Honestly, though, can we really say that it's watching the show that does it? I mean, Squid Game is a trending topic. Kids are probably going to see it or hear about it, whether through friends or, or whatever people put on their YouTubes and TikToks. I feel like it's an inevitability that something like this is going to happen. I don't know. Overall, pretty dumb article, but that's kind of what you get from these tabloid sites. Look, if it took the New York Post to tell you that maybe you shouldn't let your kid watch a show where people are brutally murdered for cash, I don't know what to tell you. But that's all I've got for this shtick. Nah, do old Jackie a favor and keep it groovy. Thank you, thank you very much.